<laughs> Brownie here. Today we're going to take a look at another furry game. It's called Reynard, and it is a roguelike game where you play as a fox, and it kind of operates like the 2D Zeldas. So you get to start in this little overworld, and this pig who kind of showed me how to play the game is a uh, super powerful, can teleport between dungeons, but unfortunately he received a horrible beating at the end of the tutorial, and now I have to rescue the, the pigs Priscilla. So I guess we'll just take our first venture into the dungeon and see what happens, and I'll explain a little bit about the game as we go. So basically you start with two attacks. You have a you have a sword and you have a bow. You know, unlike mo most Zelda games, you just start with that to begin with, which is pretty cool. Alright, so you can go in here and save your unlocked. Wait, what? Did I just get a, someone to help me? Okay. That's cool. I I'm cool with not doing any of the work on my own. So I got a blacksmith hammer, which is a melee weapon. I believe so. Has rune slots. Okay, so runes. I got one in the tutorial, but I wasn't sure how it was worked. But I guess you can. Let me check my inventory. So I have a hammer now instead of the sword. Not sure if it's better or not, but it seems like it has 0.5 second cooldown, one normal damage, the crit. Okay. So I would not be able to compare it to the sword. Um, so I wish they kind of showed me, but that's okay. I got someone doing all the work for me, apparently, so that's good. I took a little bit of a hit there, but that's gonna be fine. You know, pots are made to be broken, just like any game. Um, but I have a bow. And also, another thing you can do is you can charge your attacks, you can hold the button. You can't see it, but I'm doing it now. And it's not a working game, it works with me here. There we go. So you do this, and then you get a charge attack, which lets you dash forwards, kinda. It's pretty neat. I just collected some sand, whatever that's for. Coin. I'm assuming those help you get upgrades, so this is not a pure roguelike, it's a roguelike game. So you start on that island that you saw before with some upgrades, and then you can just kinda get whatever you want to help you. I'm gonna go through this door. Nothing seems too bad so far, we've had a couple slimes out. As I say, the rat comes stabs me in the back. But, do better. You also do have unlimited ammo with the bow. So, the way it limits you is through the stamina meter. You can see up at the top left, it's a battery. So when you run out of that, you can't use anything anymore. But it takes a while to deplete. Like, I have to punch a lot for it to actually go all the way down. Or not punch, but you know, use the hammer, I guess. And as long as I got this guy helping me, I feel invincible. And, okay. I was checking to see if the arrow had auto-aim. Doesn't look like it. There's no friendly fire, though. There's some bombs over there can't hit the rocks even though I have a hammer, which is, I think, would be used to hit rocks. That's okay, though. And then another thing that's cool is we have these crafting tables. So what I can do is I can take, I can drop two potions, and then they sit here, and then they're floating for some reason. You go push them over this crafting table, and then you get a medium health potion. So I'm not sure if it's actually better or not than having two small health potions, because I imagine you could use the two smaller ones to equal the medium one anyways. But, it's a thing you can do. I'm assuming there's a way to craft other items in this game that you can do. I don't know, it probably has a lot of depth. This is back to the room I started. Let me see, I think I got everything here. Oh, there's stairs here. I can take those. And now it's probably gonna get really bad, because it says the dungeon seems to be controlled by something powerful. That would not be good. So let's go see if we can find the exit. Slimes here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, my heart, mate! I know you're great slimy and you want to cover me with goo, but... I'd rather you don't. Well, you know, I'd rather you do, but not in the context of trying to save a piggy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe maybe being some slime wouldn't be all that bad. Should there, ever, there should be, like, a dungeon crawler game about, like, trying to get slimed. I think that would be great. Like, I know Dragon Quest the slimes are friendly. At least from what I remember, I never played it. I think that's the case. Also, I got hurt by the, the slime goo when I was walking over it, so I have to not do that. What is that? Stamina potion. Doesn't seem the most useful considering how fast stamina regenerates, but I will take it. I would need, speaking of things that I need, that is a flying sword. And, ooh, we can get another guy to help us. <laughs> Let's go, I'm gonna be 
You're gonna be so carried right now. You're gonna be so, so carried. That's a pool of water. I don't get it, but okay, moving on. The dungeon seem like a little bit empty. I'm assuming it's because this is one of the first dungeons I've been to. But it seems like there could be a little bit more in them right now. But that's not an exit because there's no arrow there. And that's a light thing. I'm assuming that goes to... I might go to a boss. So let me use the health potion. Or not. Just a room full of enemies. Sure. That too. I'm so carried right now. I'm assuming you'll get less of these guys as time goes on. Because, you know, what we really want here is for the fox to do all the work. And show that foxes are the master race or something. Especially foxes with green tunics. Who cares about Link? Who cares about, like, a little elf? Come on now. This is where it's at. Okay, go up to the pink one. Oh my god, my aim is so bad! Let me just... Oh, thanks. Stop showing me up! Uh, this is exactly the same thing as what I got before. Oh! I didn't know you could press, uh, what is that, the A button, the dash? That's useful. Okay, so now I can go a little bit faster through all this stuff. So let's see, there's a room off to the left. And they're upstaging me again. Oh, the arrow actually, I think, has limited range. I was trying to see. No, it looked like it stopped after a bit, but I don't think it actually did. Okay, let's not get too close to the slime, even though, you know, you totally want to get up and personal with it, but that's, that's alright. The rats just charge at you, the slimes are doing their own thing. They're like, what do you do? We'll just meander over. You know you want me anyways. Okay, so there's nothing here. What about this door? I think I've been through that door already. Oh, there's a little mini-map at the bottom. I didn't even see that. Goody. Okay, so shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get the rat. Oh! I thought he wasn't going to come at me, that's why I kind of like held back. Because I didn't think that was going to happen. And then he surprised me. Playing hard to get, huh? Oh, there's the... There's the stairs. Oh! I need to use the charge attack some more. What is that? Oh, it's Papa John. He's really tiny. Thanks for beating those baddies. 50% of your gold, I can help you find more rooms in this level. Uh, no thanks. That sounds like a scam. I already have a mini-map. Why do you need that? I'm assuming it's useful at some point, but... Hey, that's a stairs. What's this? Small health potion. Cool. I will... Oh, so the medium one actually recovers 50. So there is a good thing in copying them. What, what is the other health potion I got? Small stamina potion. Energy potion. Oh, movement speed. Okay. Where does this room go to, though? The secret? Oh, it's a shop. Owned by Pepe. Not the frog, of course. Pepe! 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 Uh, yeah, just show me your stuff. Bronze helmet. Frozen tunic. How much money do I have? 310? Okay, I can buy it, but I don't know if I want to save this gold for something better, or if you even get to keep the gold outside the dungeon. You know what? You know what? Um... I'll go buy this thing, I guess. I don't know why. It looks good enough. I'll take it. Do I, am I wearing the armor now? I guess so. Cool. Okay, I guess that might have been worth it. I might have wasted my money. Who knows? We're going through the red stairs now. And this looks like a boss fight. Yep, it is a boss fight. Okay, I'm gonna die. Alright, who are you, Wilson? Show yourself. Are you a tennis ball? Because I've seen a lot of tennis balls called Wilson. And you had like, yellow orbs around you. So I'm just gonna call these Wilson tennis balls. I barely see your face, because I'm going after your tennis balls there. So I'm just going to pretend you're tennis balls. You know, that, that the red guy in the middle, he don't exist. What is that? It's a heart thing? No, you don't need that. Get out of here. Okay, now we can go after this. Oh, it's a Nintendo boss. I call it a Nintendo boss because it has an eye in it. And every time there's a Nintendo boss, you shoot the eye. Oh my gosh! Of course it has an eye laser. Okay. So I gotta stay out of the way of that. I do have a dash ability, which I should be using to get out of that. Even though my little helpers are not able to avoid it for some reason. I should be able to. I mean, the helpers are... I guess I lost the helper. I don't know, I ripped that one. Not, it's a pretty good in offense, not so good in defense. But hey! We beat him. And now, I can get a triple shot bow. What does this do? Oh my gosh! That's an upgrade already, I'll take it. 
Alright, so that takes care of Wilson. Or that is. And then we go to the Terra invasion. With uh, enemies that are invading, because you know, it wouldn't be the invasion without that. We gotta. Okay, now we're playing kind of power defense? Because we got enemies that are coming to an exit. This is interesting, so they kind of mixed up the genres a little bit. I don't know even how to prepare a defense. Oh, build mode! Oh, hold on. What do you do here? So you can... It says you can purchase to press A, but I'm pressing A and nothing's happening. So... Wonder, oh, you press the lust again. Okay. Oh, that's what those pills were for. There were some pills they could use to construct stuff. I didn't realize that, like, you get them here. Oh, I didn't think I... Wait, how do I move now? Do I... Oh, you press the lustic in again. And then what do I do? So I can... Oh, okay, there are only certain slots for these. So I can put a wooden pill here. A steel pill. I'm gonna, I guess I'll, I don't have enough money for a double pill. I'll just put another wooden pill over here. That one. And I guess that's all you can do? try that. We'll see how it works. I'm not really sure. Oh wait, no. Do that. Okay. And then... I'm not actually sure what they do. Hopefully they're not just boxes that redirect to the enemies. They probably are, though. Okay, let's do this. I'm so bad at, like, sharpshooting, but the triple bow should help at least. So, let's try my best here. This is interesting, though. I like how they kind of mashed up the genres like this. And you get a little bit of power defense with your roguelike dungeon crawling. It keeps things fresh, and I'm a novelty seeker myself, so I enjoy anything that keeps things fresh. Okay, I guess that takes care of the enemies. Um, there's now a time limit before the next wave. But I don't think there's really much else to do. I mean, I got the boxes put up. I could buy one of those bubble things now, but we're just going to go for it. I don't know how many waves we have. I guess four of them? We can do that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh crap. I'm, I'm losing. Oh, they're attacking the boxes! I wonder why they go for the boxes first. Because they're boxes and boxes are fun. Not cats after all. But the boxes kind of like, they go after the boxes first. Interesting. So, the movement speed potions are actually more helpful than I gave them credit for. So let's see. Now I have enough to get a bubble pill probably do that. I probably want to get a wooden on the other one, but I don't think I have the money for it. Oh, there's money over here. Perfect, the one coin I needed. Okay, let me get a wooden. Uh, I'll see what that bubble pill does. It better be worth it for 200 gold. I'm also running low on health, unfortunately. That's a little scary. So I gotta, like, watch my own back, first of all. Oh, it shoots projectiles, and I got poisoned and died. Oh no. That's not good. Well, this was fun. I actually really uh, appreciate the mashup of genres here. It's been a good game so far, and I look forward to playing it more and seeing what other kind of things lie in it. If you like this, then go make sure to check out the game yourself on Steam. It did go on sale when I bought it, so possible that will again. And if you like my content, make sure to subscribe, and that way we'll get notifications about new content. And if you want to interact with me too and join another platform, then I'm also on Twitch, so check me out there. And this is Brownie signing off. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Ow!